Okay, so we're on the ground, alien abductions for a uh, cash mission. Now this is a fairly big arena. Actually, it mostly just looks like it's the McDonald's. So this does put us in an interesting position of, I could just go on the roof and see what happens. It's tempting. Oh, is it tempting? Well, I yes, see nothing wrong with it. Visual Richard Nixon, pilot. point man. So it looks like we've got some... Here they come. Ah, strangulators. Well. That's going to be a thing. Now, Green Man, seeing as we've got the strangulators in play already, is a bit of a concern. Um, I guess in this case, I'm going to have everybody be a little bit cautious. We know where some meld is, which looks to be on the roof up over here. Nope. It's inside the McDonald's, which is, of course, the best place to put meld. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, she's a concern, because uh, the strangulators aren't that big of a deal, and they might all go for... Nixon, they might not. And with luck... Oh, wait, shoot. I should have had her, her do, you know, super speed style. Well, here we've got somebody for super speed style. Worst comes to worst, both of these guys get strangulated, and then we know exactly what to do. But, uh, in the case that that's not what happens, then we have somebody to cover uh, Richard Nixon's ass. And, of course, if you have somebody to protect the president, Swan Ronson is a pretty good option. And he's got a laser. Everybody's got lasers. Strangulators are going to come right in, aren't they? What is even going on? Yep, here we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, that was a thing. Oh, Swan Ronson was is the perfect bodyguard. He's got the close combat specialist. Holy shit. That was not at all what I was expecting to be inside the restaurant. Oh, boy. Okay, so number one, Richard Nixon apparently can see that guy over there. Uh, Mr. President, you're probably going to want to close the distance a little bit. That does not help much. Hopefully he'll blow up the wall. Nope. I guess Mr. President does not have... Uh... Oh, boy, this is quite the situation to have. Okay, so we've got a couple of mutons inside the restaurant and one on the roof. Which is a serious problem. Well, I'm gonna put him in overwatch. We don't have any mutons that we can see right now. He's the only one we can see. Not the greatest. Honestly, this is kind of a scary situation. Hey! Intimidation. Great. Ah, what's that gonna make him do? Oh. Does he still have an action? Oh no, she has an action. She can't see anything. Now, seeing as these are mutants on these, uh, in this position, uh, oh man, 35% chance to kill a muton if she can kill it, which she didn't. Man, I was hoping she'd be able to kill it. That would make life a hell of a lot easier. Okay, Miss Gonzo, what are you going to do? I guess putting her here behind the wall isn't a half bad idea. Or putting her here behind this thing. I think it's a little bit uh, more permanent, and hopefully she can kill that thing, because accuracy. Beautiful. There's one muton down. And lastly, we've got Swan Ronson. Can't sprint. Oh, balls, he's the one with the shotgun, and Mr. Nixon took the spot. Well, in that case, I'm going to move him closer, and he's just going to flush out the muton. Probably should have done that first. But, uh, and we've got some floaters. I mean, this isn't the worst situation I've ever been in, but it is definitely scary. At least our two tough guys are on top. Or two of our tough guys are on top. Heck it. Oh, there's still a strangulator. Now, that was Bepella that just got shot. We've got that muton hunking, hunkering down for some mysterious reason. I have very little clue as to what exactly is going on there. Shredder rocket. Four damage... Targets. That's tempting. Oh, wait. Is that Muton, like, almost dead? Oh, no, it's not almost dead. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, so, Shredder Rocket, straight to the Muton. Because it won't kill him. 
it'll shred him, and it get rid gets rid of all of his cover. Now, he tried intimidating Nixon. It kind of sort of worked. I don't know, whatever. Okay, so smokes. That's not so great. That's better. Let's see if we, if I can kill the mutons, we're gonna be an, oh damn, that one's almost dead. Okay, Papella is injured, which is a concern. However, if move. she can kill the muton, that's going to be a instant upgrade for her. Well, she's no more accurate with the pistol than anything else, so I'm just gonna cross my fingers and pray. Beautiful. That secures her promotion. And Miss Gonzo, where are you going to go? She has running gun, which actually is a very tempting thing to use right now, especially because she has better accuracy. Wow, my my voice is really going. Let's move her in. Now. Ideally, there's only going to be one, two floaters. Well, we got one, we got two. We'll take out him. Or at least pray we take him out. Okay, he's dead. He's now, she is in a bit of an awkward positioning, but she should be fine. And then we've got this muton over here who actually is nowhere near as dead as I thought he was going to be. Oh, balls. Nixon doesn't have cover either. Well, let's just reload. <clears throat> yeah, I really am losing my voice. Okay, so we got one more strangulator, which is terrifying. We've got this muton. No idea what he's going to do. That floater is going to fall back and double move action outside. Hey, can't complain. Yep, and there we go. I knew he was going to show up at some point. Ah, missed though. Okay, so McGee's X is going to get strangulated here, which is a problem, but not that big of one. Because, well, it really doesn't do that much damage. It's concerning, <clears throat> but apart from that, it's not a big deal. Now, Nixon, oh god, Nixon just got critted, which is super bad. Of course, Nixon is a tough old bastard, so here's the question. Do we clear the distance and hope for the best? We probably should have actually had Nixon uh, be a little bit more defensive than this, but... With the little cutscene like that, looks like he took out the Muton. Okay, Green Man, your priority is take out this thing. Green Man, why can you crit better than you can hit? This confuses me. But, hey, McGee's X is alright, actually. Can't hit anything, though, but that's okay. Doesn't need to. Now, McGee's X is going to... I'm just going to move him a little bit closer to this plant. I think we all we have left is one more floater, as far as I can tell. Now, Bapella is injured... So I don't want to be too risky with her. I'm going to go after the floater, though. Because yeah, finding that floater and taking him out is a pretty high priority right now. Hopefully there's nothing... Oh, shoot. Should have gotten the meld. Whatever, we got plenty of time. And if I can kill that floater, maybe they'll end the mission, and then we can get both meld. No. Would have been so easy. Looks like we've got that area over here, and that's the meld. Long way away. Uh, at least we've got both strangulators dead, which is a pretty damn good thing. Unless I find more. I don't see any enemies either. Please nobody show up and murder Nixon. I like him. Okay, so Nixon. Nixon. Nixon, Nixon, Nixon. Nixon's going to run all the back, all the way back here behind the bench, and he's going to get patched up because, boy, is he injured. Oh, probably going to have to do the same thing with Papella. Uh, green Man, I'm going to have Green Man move all the way up here. Because I don't think we're going to have any enemies behind that restaurant. And, okay, so McGee's X is going to... McGee's X has to heal multiple people. Is this Green Man? No, that's Papella. So, he's going to come up. Medpack her. That'll put her up to full. Now, I think she's still going to have, like, wounded points or whatever you want to call it. Could be worse. I'm going to have her move up to the meld. That way she can get it on her next turn. And then on Nixon's next turn, he is going to move up to the med pack. Now, it looks like we've got this big old area over here. Wow, this map is a hell of a lot larger than I thought. Oh, damn. It is much larger than I thought. So, I guess priorities. Get the meld. And... Okay, so we know they're over there. 
in that case, if they're going to be over there, then Nixon... Nick, Nixon's wanna, gonna want to come here. Realistically, probably should have moved to a position where the two of them could have powwowed from, but it'll have to do. Now, Nixon isn't fully healed, and I'd like to get him up to full health, but if I do that, he's going. we're going to be out of med packs, and we'll no longer be able to get what we need to get. Okay, Miss Gonzo, let's where where can I put you? Cuz I want to get I want to get to that meld, but I don't want to put her in danger. So I'm going to move her back here and see if we Up, oh, there we go. Looks like we got several thin men. It's actually not so bad. If it's only thin men, then if I put Miss uh that concerns me. Okay. The one problem is I am getting a little bit um, stretched, and that is a concern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Nixon up here. Hopefully there's nothing hiding on that roof there. And uh, Nixon, Nixon. Where can I move Nixon? Nixon will go behind the table because, eh, okay, I'm not getting too stretched out. We just unfortunately have people on the roof, and I'd very much like to have, oh, hello. A sniping vantage. Uh, truck's a little bit in the way, but that's a damn good spot if I ever saw one. He's a little bit low on ammo, but hopefully we'll be okay. Realistically, the the main movers and shakers have already been finished off, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm a little bit concerned about Thin Men deciding to bust in through the door, but better get people their ammo back. Okay. Next, uh, Swan Ronson, kill him. Damn. I'm glad I put him there on Overwatch. So they didn't know where he was. And he, he could do some useful things. Too bad Thin Men can't get uh, poisoned by their own poison. Could be worse. Oh, he's going to take a pot shot at Swan... Oh, Swan Ronson's going to get poisoned. Well, whatever. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. The poison, I mean, did a little bit of damage. But is it, it is in no way, shape, or form truly that dangerous. Okay. Doesn't look like the fence gives anybody particularly good cover. And I don't want to shoot a rocket, so let's just overwatch him. Ow. Oh, nuts. I was really hoping I could have him overwatch a little bit better than that. I guess, when in doubt, hide behind the car? Yeah, it'll do. Oh, right. He could have actually sniped there. Well, last but not least, McGee's X, where am I going to put you? Uh, hmm. Well, Mgizix has got plenty of health. Uh, mostly. I'll just toss him behind this area. I have a fair amount of cover. She. What's she gonna do? Uh, hmm. Well, she can't run and gun yet. She doesn't even have an upgrade. So I'm just gonna not move her on top of the roof. I'm gonna move her there. Chances of her seeing anything, pretty low. Gonzo can't see anything, but she can run a gun, which is, oh, that is, mm hmm. Now, question, can, nope, okay. So, if I run and gun, I can have her run and gun behind the meld, get the meld on her next turn, and shoot that thing. And also, if you notice, she has a crazy amount of health. Let's murder this guy. Yeah, that was, that constitutes pretty heavy death. Oh. I could have him... Okay, so here's the question. Are these thin men going to be the only people, or the only enemies left on this map? I'm going to take a bet here, and hope that's the case. God, that's pretty awful chances. Oh, that, that's bad. He's going to take a shot at Swan Ronson. Apparently missed, too. And Swan Ronson hasn't spotted anybody. He's still poisoned, but apart from that, we're actually in a really good spot. Um, I think Nixon, I'm going to have Nixon run back behind this set of whatever the hell that is supposed to be. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, our sniper has yet to do anything particularly useful. Not surprisingly, he is kind of... Uh, Constantly trying to get into a good position instead of doing anything otherwise. And it looks like the Pella can potentially shoot the guy. I think. Moving. Pop her behind this cover and see if she can. 
Nope. Well, in that case, grab Be this. Secured. And she can't run and gun anymore, which is concerning. But I can move her just a little bit closer and overwatch. And I guess the other thing I can do is Swan Ronson. Uh, Swan Ronson could be dangerous, or you could be beautiful. Headed there now. We all know exactly what this entails. Fairly close, point blank shot with a shotgun straight to the thin man's face. Sensible? Should be sensible. That was a good mission. That was a real good mission. Got promotions for at least several people, especially Bepello, who would I'd like to upgrade to something. Potentially. And... I don't know, overall, I'm very happy with it. So, let's see how we did. Uh, Green Man got promoted, great. It's good to have a backup sniper. So, two damage bonus with pistols, or 10 aim and 10 defense against enemies at lower elevation. Oh. Well, considering he already has snapshot, we're gonna go with this one. Because that's far more valuable. I mean, two extra damage with the pistol is tempting, and maybe if we have a third sniper coming along, but for now, Okay, and seeing as this is our secondary medic, revive is far more useful than the other one. And lastly, Bupella, another support. Wow, we got a lot of supports. Not a lot of assaults, and not many snipers. A couple of heavies. Overall, pretty good mission. And only Nixon was the one that actually got wounded enough. Even though Bupella got hit pretty hard. Yeah, Nixon took the most amount of hit hits, though. So I'm not terribly surprised. And we get floater corpses, thin men corpses, mutant corpses, meld, secret wrecks. Sweet. And okay, panic goes up in a lot of places, but we Remember, got cash. We will be watching. Yeah. Okay. In that case, uh, it's just going to be base management stuff. And I guess I could get mimetic skin for Swan Ronson if I really wanted to, or I could hold on to the money. I don't, I don't know what else I'm gonna get. I guess I, uh, in a couple of days, I'm gonna have that ask access list. At which point, I'm definitely going to need to build some structures. Therefore, I'm going to hold on to the money. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next episode of XCOM Anyone Within, and we'll mess around with the base until we get another mission. These episodes are kind of running together in my head, and I'm getting confused. Could be worse. <laughs>